Cancer! What is going on, my baby? Tell me the answers, pudding. It's, it's me, Vera. It is Shiva. It's, it's Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to tell you how. Be New Year. We're in this bitch to find out what the energy is surrounding you for January 2021, baby. Yes, indeed. We're here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of my babies who has clicked, like, shared, and subscribed to this video. Okay, baby. All right. So listen. Um, I want to just give a big shout out to everyone that's given me love and support throughout 2020. We got um, some new decks on the table that came in at the tail end of December that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot and uh, Cartomancy deck. So, well, not Cartomancy. It's a plant card, but you know Cartomancy, you know what I'm saying. So, if there's anybody that would like to connect with me for a personal private reading or, you know, just give some love to the page, um, you can check the description box of this video or check my bio or my YouTube page. You can get the pricing list. Um, you can connect with me for your reading in, um, on Instagram Messenger. Or if you don't have Instagram, if you don't want to use your Instagram, I use Google Hangouts because the only thing that we need to exchange to do the reading is our email, which I feel like it's a lot easier than exchanging phone numbers. So might want to use that just in case you want to communicate with somebody and you don't want to get nobody a number so yeah so listen um you know we always give thanks to the creator for everything that we are for everything that we're doing for everything that he's about to give us so if you wouldn't mind bow your head with me uh you know to just make sure that God is present with us in everything that we do. Because, you know, we got to carry him with us and keep him by our side at all times, you know. Especially if we want success in our life and true happiness and abundance. So, Father God, thank you so much for blessing us today. Uh, we're here for the sign of cancer. We're looking for the answers that we seek. Because we're trying to divide ourselves from the old me to the new me. We try to divide you know we're trying to separate ourselves from that old place that we used to be versus this new place that you have destined on our path to go father god we are so understanding the importance of keeping our feet moving and walking towards our destiny and keeping our head up and just like staying encouraged keeping that pride keeping that pressure on us you know what i'm saying like sometimes we'd be like why we gotta be through you know, why we got to go through things? Why it got to be so hard for us? But listen, apply pressure. <laughs> pressure creates diamonds. So Father God going to apply the pressure on you. He ain't never told you it's going to be easy. So now that we're understanding, we're starting to learn a lot more why things are not so easy on us. Like things are starting to get easier as those trials, those tribulations those mountains you know what i'm saying comes in front of us that think that they're going to block us oh honey our legs listen we got some strong calf muscles honey we be climbing okay we didn't learn how to you know survive we got our survival skills now like it's nothing to us it's nothing to us those trials and tribulations now like god has trained us to be warriors to use our defense mechanism cancer like if you really really pay attention to who you are yeah, we're all soft and emotional and stuff on the inside, but our body is made of armor. Complete armor with spikes. Y'all don't even move like the rest of the people. Y'all move right to left, left to right. Y'all don't come, when people coming straight at you, you just hit that little slide on them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how y'all be doing cancer. Y'all got to remember who y'all are. Your body is made for tough, like Teflon. Y'all are some of the strongest, most caring, most nurturing, most well-deserving people that I know. So, why wouldn't God put you through <laughs> certain things when your body is made of armor? Y'all forget who y'all are sometimes. So, Cancer, we're here to divide ourselves from the weak individual you know, everybody got that weakness in us. Oh, no, we're not, uh -uh. We not doing that weak shit no more. We're built for it tough. And people are going to understand that this year. And we're going to understand that every time that we look at ourselves in that mirror, we're going to see that armor. And we're going to see exactly who we are. 
So, Father God, continue to give us the glory because they don't know our story. Give us the guidance that we need to receive today for the sign of cancer for January 2021. In the name of Jesus, amen, amen, and amen. All right, y'all, look, I don't went too deep on y'all, Chad. Um, listen, I ain't do no real quick prayer, Lord, so I got to make this really quick, okay? Cause I'm, I'm like, I done got all up in the damn prayers. Okay. Give me three cards for my cancers. And look, cancer, and I know that y'all greedy. Every time I do my readings with y'all, y'all always be trying to get extra cards. Y'all be having me pull extra decks because I be nosy because y'all story be juicy. <laughs> Story be juicy like Lucy. Okay, listen. Give me three cards for my cancer. Thank you so much. Okay. Ooh, you got the three of wands in the reverse. Mm mm. Child, you said I'm walking into a goddamn tidal wave. I ain't. Listen, I might got to think about this shit before I go forward and do any damn thing. I just look at where the hell I'm going. <laughs> You're like about to walk into disaster, cancer. Jesus. Okay. This six of pen. Yes, you like, uh uh. About to walk into a motherfucking pitfall? Hell no. <laughs> so you got the three of wands, the six of pentacles in reverse, and you have the ten of cups. And this ten of cups card always trips me out because, you know, tens represents completions. It represents endings sometimes. So sometimes it can represent a happy home, and sometimes it can mean it, it may be coming to an end almost. Um... It's something to me about how that man is just skipping away with his little cello. Is that a cello? What is that he got? Where you going, Mr. Man, with the... Oh! Girl, why they look like the damn devil? Look at him. Don't he got red eyes and the horns on his head? Like, what the fuck? Mm-mm. Oh, Jesus just said, baby, cast a stone at the devil. Okay, look, don't look this. Stone him to death. Now, listen, I don't know why that, What is going on? Okay. So, we got this three of wands here. Again, it's like this sinkhole. And it's like some type of financial pitfall. If someone decides to leave, if someone decides to move on with their life, it's like... It's like... I know that I'm going to be in a financial sinkhole. It's like someone wants to move on from their current existence almost. Uh, they say I got a fractured limb. A fractured limb? A fractured limb? It may be your heart. I don't know. It may be a, your lip. It's something wrong. Like I'm there like literally like a fractured limb. Why do I'm feeling like it's something wrong with someone's leg or something? And like, they're like, every time I start to walk in, I can't walk but so far because it's like I always got to look back because it's like you still got to take care of something. It's like some type of family. Because with this, especially with this, this situation right here, I, I never really studied that card that deeply to figure out who that was because this person does not look like a good individual this looks like a bad person and I, every time i see this car i feel like um the starving artist like it's somebody running off chasing their dreams and like not taking their family with them in the future you know like you know how you always hear about these um families where the father or the mother or somebody is a musician and the kids never get to see him because they're always off traveling and chasing their dreams and basically left the family behind and the mother to take care of everything you know like that's kind of what I get when I see this um it's like someone left their family to run off and chase their dreams because it's like they're trying to reach that pot of gold on the other side of that rainbow. It's like they really think that it's magic or something somewhere else other than this home. But they know that they have this loving, nurturing, beautiful home that's designed for them. Like a complete sturdy family. Like a good mother. A house full of children and all of that stuff like that. Um... I want to say it could have been like two miscarriages or something like that that could have um, 
I don't know, cause that that uh, cause I'm seeing those two skulls right there. Um. Yeah, I I want to say like. I don't know why I'm getting it. Like there could have been two miscarriages at throughout the duration of this relationship. But y'all have a family now because she's planting things to take care of her family. It's like long term. Like this woman is thinking long term. And this man is thinking I need to get the fuck out of there. Like I don't even think that he even wants to think about the responsibility of having to look back and and take care of the responsibilities of what at that home you know that's why it's like this person wants to trail off i really do feel like this is someone that wants to trail off and chase their dreams and dream somewhere else because you got the three of wands right here but it's something about this person's vehicle um it's like it got battered in the storm so there was a storm that came in this person's life that made this person decide that they wanted to go, you know. And again, they're saying, I want to cover my footsteps. I, it, this person doesn't want no one to, they're saying, I don't want no one to find me. It's like I'm trying to cover my footsteps. I don't want them to know where I want to go. But their ship was battered up. Was, was broken. There, remember I said like a limb was broken. Something. It could like be your car. Or something like that. Um, was broken in the battle. Or something. And it's like. They're going to have to put out some money on something. And it's like they don't want to do that. And they know if they spend all their money. It's like I'm going to spend all my money. Get my car fixed so I can leave. And. Again, it's, I feel like it's someone trying to dodge a responsibility because the Six of Pentacles is like someone that is... Because you see how he got this picture right there and you see how it's like he's having to give something in honor or memory of this person or something. It's like he knows that that is still around or something. It's like having to divide what he has. Separating this. You, you see what I'm saying? It's like if he could, he would put... This right here in the savings for him and this right here for what he wants to spend for himself. But he got to think about this person. So he can't. He got to think and budget his money and his finances in a different way. And upright, this is someone charitable. Someone that, you know, has no problem with giving. You know, no problem with lending a hand. This is like aid and stuff. This is, I don't want to give shit to you. <laughs> I don't want to give shit to you. And that's what's stopping me because... Again, some shit got battered, destroyed, or injured. There was like some type of injury or something that slowed this person down. Because this motherfucker was on the go. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, something, something delayed this person's progress. And I don't know if this motherfucker... I dare say this person was about to move to another state, another zip code, another something. And this person wants to move on and chase his dreams. And... <laughs> This person wants to move on to chase his dream. And I want to say this person knows that they're doing something wrong. But it's like they really can't figure no other way out. They're saying I can't take care of them and take care of myself. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> Give me this. Clarify this for me. Three of Wands in reverse. And they're saying I just want to move to another destination. I just need some space to myself. I need some time to myself. I need to work things out to myself. I need to build my life back together so that I can't take care of them. It's something about being in this home, not being able to focus on their art, focus on their passion, focus on, you know, what is, you know, fulfilling to them. It's, it's, I, I, it's like distraction. It's distraction. Um. It was either two miscarriages or it was two major situations where the relationship should have been over. If it has nothing to do with children that, um, like, there could have been a few miscarriages which could have emotionally put a barrier on this relationship. And it's like this woman want to keep having kids, but I feel like emotionally the man can't keep going through that. And people don't understand that that is like an emotional thing for people. It affects the men too. You know what I'm saying? 
and this woman can still want to keep trying to have more kids and he, he can't do that no more you know what i'm saying it's just it's, it's changed their, their relationship that however it was two major things here um that transpired in the relationship i might have broke up two times and like this like this is the third time's the charm and it's like this motherfucker's trying to escape again i'm serious let me got it Guidance for cancer. Give me two cards. One more card. Queen of Diamonds. So y'all could be dealing with um, a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, um, or it could be an Earth sign individual that is uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So the Queen of Diamonds is, again, like I said, a mix between air and earth because it has a lot to do with the mental and material. This lady she's very very smart she's a visionary she can see things before it even happens almost she can be borderline psychic she's a very she's very much a homebody i don't i don't feel like she likes to be all over the place and she is very much a woman about her family she's about her family she's about material she loves very nice things so she may have like very pretty perfumes and jewelry and clothes or she just wants the better things in life you know she may like she really wants people to follow the law like she wants to live life by the book or is in regards to her she wants people to follow a certain set of rules and be honorable and truthful um she can very much so be a loner she doesn't necessarily have the need to have a whole bunch of friends and people around her. Um, she's cool just being in the house with her kids, watching some TV or reading a book or, you know what I'm saying? Like watching a documentary or something like that. That's this woman. She's like an introvert. Like that's what I'm kind of getting here. Um, I'm not even about to read that. I don't got time for that. And then you got the queen of clubs. We got two queens here. Queen of Clubs is a mixture between the Wands and Earth. So again, that's another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The Queen of Clubs is an extremely beautiful woman. Complete opposite. I'm not saying opposite in looks, but I'm saying opposite of personality. The Queen of Clubs is a go-getter. She's out all the time socializing network she likes to wear her hair down her hair is either fiery red or a beautiful like strawberry blonde or some shit or very light bright blondes like she is like when she walks into the room you know she's there you know she's there like you can see the vibrations of the colors of her clothes. She may wear like very bright clothes with very bright nails. Um, like she may have like stiletto nails all the time instead of like like if nails. She may wear coffin nails. She's st long stiletto. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like serious bright colors. She's loud. She's always laughing. She's the life of the party. Like, people want to know her, want to be around her. She may be um, a hairdresser. She may be in, like, the music industry, an artist in some type of way. Or she just may be a fashionista or just someone that's extremely popular and extremely beautiful. And someone that is admired. Like, a lot of people are probably in her inbox. She is the hot girl you know what i'm saying so these are two totally different women you got one introvert and one extrovert one extra extrovert spicy <laughs> latina something like that like she's spicy what is going on with these two queens i'm trying to tell y'all give me one more card right in the middle because y'all mm -mm, ain't about to leave me with nothing juicy like that y'all sure not y'all are sure not sure not What's this? The two hearts, bitch. I told you. Didn't I tell you? Bitch, this motherfucker is in, two with, in love with two women. In love with two women. 
Like, this motherfucker's chasing his dream. This person want to get to the other side. But, again, it's like there's an injury or this person... The vehicle was fucked up in the storm with this one, with the Queen of Swords. With the, you know? I really feel like this is a Queen of Swords. This is like a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual right here. And I want to say that this is a fire sign individual. It may, if anything, this woman may be a Taurus or Capricorn. Not seeing Virgo, though. I'm not seeing Virgo for whatever reason. If I do, she's real prissy. And I mean prissy, prissy, prissy. She's like a diamond princess type of girl. Like, real priss. You hear me? <laughs> like, girl. What am I talking about? Prissy. Girl. I mean, child, this man is in love. It said there's the, the true genius shudders at incompleteness and usually prefers silence to saying something which is, which is not everything it should be. So y'all heard that? A true genius shudders at incompleteness and usually prefers silence to saying something which is not everything it should be. So whatever this, this person is going to say here, I don't know if this is a cancer female dealing with this. There's someone that she's dealing with that has two queens. Or if this is the cancer male that has two queens. But someone's in love with two people here. And someone, it's, it's two different, like, loving, growing home environments here. Like, oh my goodness. Let me tell y'all the two of hearts. And the two of hearts is like, to me, someone literally starting like a home. Like that's like in the beginning stages of like creating family. Like this is like a very fertile card. So, you know, like this motherfucker might be trying to have a child with somebody else. This means love, affection, emotion, a child, pregnancy, expectancy, a pet, emotional excitement, talent. Artistic ability, and again, I could, I told you someone could be off running, chasing their dreams as well. Their artistic ability, love and exchanges, a love letter, good news. I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get into the love cards, Cancer. I told y'all, y'all always be coming with the tea, y'all. Y'all be coming with the tea. Cause ooh, y'all want me to. Ooh, 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 I'm so itching to go pull that kiss with that. But nope, y'all not about to do that to me. Not in 2021, we're not doing all that. No, no, cancer. We're gonna stick to mm -mm. We're gonna stick to the manuscript. Y'all know I'm lying. Y'all know I'm gonna go do it. <laughs> Give me guidance what's going on in love. But ooh, the snake. Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all this motherfucker is definitely cheating. The snake, the forbidden. Now, y'all know what the snake means and shit in the goddamn Lenormand deck. That means the other woman. I'm telling y'all, it's two queens right here. Y'all see? Chow. And, ooh, and then what does this say? What is this? What is this? And then you got pink in the reverse. I really don't want to um, read this in the reverse, but it says love, care, and compassion. Like, this person is, like, legitimately in love with... A whole nother woman like the other woman. But this person know that they should not be though. That's why this is in the reverse. It's forbidden love. Y'all don't see this shit? Bruh. This says love, caring, compassion. Forbidden. Y'all. <laughs> I told y'all y'all reading me the tape. Girl let me tell you. Now listen. Listen cancer. Shit, hold on, shit. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I'll take a sip of my coffee, y'all. Y'all be doing me too much now. Y'all be doing too much. Y'all be doing it too much. And a little bit too much. What is going on with cancer? Give me two more cards for, uh-uh. Balloon freedom. Didn't I tell you? I'm trying to tell you, guys, I'm trying to get the fuck out of there because I got some other fucking pussy on the other side of town. Now, y'all ain't gonna listen to me. Y'all got me talking to, through clenched teeth. Y'all got me talking through clenched teeth now, like I'm your mama, like I'm gonna get spanking and whoop your ass. Ooh! 
Ooh, ooh, child. Listen, and then mentally indestructible. You can't tell this person nothing. You cannot tell this person nothing. This person is in love. I don't even think that they want to be in love. <laughs> like, they don't even know why they're doing this again, again, though. Because they, I feel like whoever this is has been trying so hard to, like, live their life the straight route and be a family man or whatever the fuck this is. But, like, I'm trying to tell you, it was, like, two things that happened in this relationship. It was, like, having two miscarriages, two big blow-up arguments, like, tidal wave storms, arc arguments competitiveness or something that was going on in this relationship where this motherfucker's like man i'd rather just go off and chase my dreams this person got the devil on their back clearly listen this person got the devil on their back look at this person look at him i hate the, the, the damn sun y'all see it are y'all seeing this this person's going off chasing their lust their desires their passions child i can't even I can't even. Okay. But yeah, you can't tell this person nothing. Like, what this person is thinking and what this person is doing right now, you cannot um, convince this person otherwise. Like, their mind is set on it. Set. And honestly, like, even though this thing is forbidden, like, it's this person wants freedom because... I want to say, like, mentally, like, mentally, it may be an addiction for this something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they can't figure out a way to destroy this connection in their mind. So, it's like, you know, give me guidance here on this for cancer, please. What is this? The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So, again, it's like, I don't want to say, like, this per No, he's not coming back. Like, this knight is not coming back. It's not going to give anything at all. Whatever this family is, I'm trying to tell you this person is going to leave this family in the dust. This person is not going to help this woman financially at all. I'm trying to tell you this person does not want to. This person looks at this whole situation as a financial pitfall. If there are any children involved in this situation with the Ten of Cups, it very much so may be. The Knight of Cups, I mean, this is not the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse moves very slow, if at all. Like a whole bunch of empty promises like, yeah, 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 I'm going to give you some money for this. Yeah, I'm going to come over. It won't show up. whole bunch of excuses. Like lack of planning, like not even trying to change or learn something new or operate in a different way. The Ace of Wands in the reverse, like the loss of passion. There's no desire there. You know, this is like a no action card. So, like, if there was a yes or no question, like, is this person coming back? Both of these cards are saying no. This person is not going to give anything to the situation. This person is not trying to learn how to operate in a new way. Period. This is a very selfish person that would keep all of their money to themselves. And if anything, would just give you sex like give you the wand do you understand the ace of wands like it's not going to amount to anything and if, and if anything it would be like emotional and sex it would be like they would just be fucking you just because they can type of shit but they ain't giving you now you ain't getting nothing out of it other than wet pussy and dry pockets do you understand what i'm saying so it's like don't even Fool yourself into thinking that this person is going to do anything more for you than what they've already done. This person is showing you where their mind is at. And they're not going to change it. And it's not going to be changed. No one is going to convince this person otherwise. They're going to continue to see this person because the passion is too thick. It's based off of lust. It, it's going to crumble the way that it started. Any relationship that starts lust-based is doomed for destruction. That's why it's the forbidden. But yet you can't help but to desire it. And just like what's under it, the Ace of Wands in reverse, whoever this person fucking with is going to receive the same fate. You get them and you lose them. How you get them? So that shit ain't going nowhere and that shit ain't going nowhere with you. This person's going to get their karma. 
And like it says, their thoughts is indestructible. You can't tell them nothing. They're going to learn their lesson. Okay. So, what is this? It's the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So, it's the Nine of Swords in the reverse is basically telling me um, it's someone that's trying to stop thinking about something. It's trying to avoid, um, again, a responsibility that's pegging them that is driving them crazy. Uh, they don't want to have any more thoughts about the past and arguments and things. They want to sleep at peace. They just want um, a clear mind and new beginnings. It's someone trying to get over the past and really letting that go. Again, this is the Two of Cups. I'm, look, the Two of Cups, this person feels like they found a divine partnership. This person thinks that they're in love. And the Eight of Cups. This person is leaving because they really think that... They, listen, and then you got the King of Wands right here. Purified through fire. The only way for this... The only way for this King to evolve is to... Destroy barriers. Like, this person, like, grows through the fire. You understand? So, this person is a roamer, is a, uh, I don't know, but it's like this person is growing and elevating, and this person just learns by trials and tribulations. This person is extremely handsome. This person may be a very, very amazing lover. An amazing love, and this person knows it, and that's why they run around and do the things that they do. This person does seem like they're evolving, and again, this man really thinks that they're in love, but yet they're still chasing the forbidden. And this person is going to learn, and this person is not going to evolve until he gets spanked by this situation. I'm telling you, because this person thinks that they're in love, but it's forbidden. It ain't going nowhere. Listen, it ain't going nowhere. I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm telling you. You see this pink in the reverse? It's in the reverse. It's not love. It's lust. Okay? So this motherfucker going to get their ass spanked. Everything that they did to them is going to be done. Everything that they did to you is going to be done to them by the other woman. Or the other man. However it goes. But this man is leaving you. He's moving on. And you need to know that. And you need to understand that. And this person is going to self-sabotage themselves. So you just move on. Look, you focus on taking care of your family just like she's doing. Look, he's thinking away. She sees him. She feels him. She knows what he's doing. She ain't even worried about him. Because she still got to take care of her fucking family. What goes up always comes down. You understand? So you just stay strong. And you keep your mind focused on what you're doing. Don't be worrying about that shit. Y'all stay strong. Y'all know how I am about my babies. Y'all stay strong. I don't give a fuck if you the cancer, if you the cross watcher, whoever, however this fit in this for you, you focus on your, you focus on your crop because every single thing that you plant is going to provide you dividends later. And trust me, <laughs> what goes up always comes down and the way you get them is the way you're going to lose them. Don't ever forget that. So whatever lesson that you learn from this, learn it so you don't ever repeat it again. You hear me? Now, I love you, and I'm dead serious about what I'm telling you now. You hear me? Now, let's see what the world got to say. Give me guys for my cancer for January. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of this information. All right? So, all right. This means landscape. There's going to be a change in landscape. Things in, in regards to your home environment, things are changing. This means earth. This has something to do with your home. This means the circle of life, common sense. Family love, showing simple strength, and again, agriculture. What are you doing right here, baby? Agriculture. You are planting seeds. You are growing. You worried about your motherfucking land and your landscape. Anybody that don't want to be there, get the fuck off my fertile land, bitch. You get me? You stay in your goddamn power, baby. You hear me? Oh, child, baby, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm fucking shaking right now. Y'all got me fucked up right now. Oh, y'all got me fucked up. Oh, honey. Right here, this means livestock. It means wealth, luck, 
possessions won and earned happiness signs of hope abundance earn income prosperity didn't i tell you focus on your fucking crop let them leave let them fuck it's the devil this person is chasing the devil's affair let them do it let them do it baby Focus on your fucking pro girl. Oh, I'm getting sized up now. I'm getting geeked up, bitch. I'm getting geeked up. And again, this means land in possession. Don't just look like the fish. This means all of this right here that just fell out is trying to tell you that your land, your possessions, your money, and your wealth is fertile than a bitch. Sometimes rejection is God's protection. If you don't understand that, I don't understand what you're thinking about. When God removes something, let him remove it. You hear that confirmation? When he removes it, let him remove it. Earn income, property, ambition, food, reward, new beginnings. It means credit. You got credit in the eyes in the name of the Lord, baby, because you did the right thing. What did you do? You stay focused on planting your seed so you can have a full harvest with or without this idiot. Do you understand? Do you understand? This right here means a source of safety. Increase in abundance. What is truly an importance means inheritance. Okay? <laughs> Y'all yeah, cannot. I cannot. I cannot. So, I'm going to leave y'all with that. I'm going to leave y'all with that because I feel like y'all y'all felt me. I feel like y'all felt me. Y'all feel me? Y'all hit the like button if you feel me. Um, Don't worry about nobody. Ain't worry about you. Because God always got your number, baby. He always got your number. Always. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I will see you guys in February. And y'all tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Shout out to Sweet Addictions because I done took that from her. <laughs> and if y'all don't know who my baby Sweet Addictions TV is, y'all better go check my baby candy out. Listen, I gotta go. Alright, I'll see y'all in February. Peace, Cancer.